So as Donald Trump complains about the fixed delegate selection process, he goes up in the polls. He's leading, as I record this, in Indiana, not by a lot, but by some, which is forcing Cruz and Kasich to an alliance where Kasich doesn't campaign in Indiana, so Cruz could win there, while Cruz says, you go campaign in New Mexico and Oregon, and we'll just try to stop Trump together. Well, here's the deal. I mean, Cruz right now is trying to get delegates who may be bound to Trump on the first ballot to switch their vote in the second ballot. But we haven't had a second ballot at a convention since 1952, so we're not used to seeing it. They are bound in the first ballot. Some states, like Florida, are bound the first three ballots, and then on the fourth ballot, if that delegate is assigned to Trump who doesn't really like Trump, he or she is free to vote for somebody else. If you don't have a majority of the delegates, 1237 for the Republicans, you don't have a majority of the people involved. That means the majority of the people are for somebody else. There's nothing wrong with requiring the winner to have a majority of delegates. Trump thinks he can win a majority of delegates on the first ballot. Maybe he can. But there's nothing wrong with trying to stop him by saying, if you go to a second ballot or a third ballot, or a, in the case of 1924 for the Democrats, a 101st ballot, there's nothing wrong with voting for somebody else. They've had these rules for a long, long time. But see, now we have this 24-hour news cycle. We have social media. No one's really thought about it or seen it like this before because it hasn't come up before at least not since 1952 when Eisenhower took the nomination away from Robert Taft of Ohio, Mr. Republican. We'll see what happens this year. But right now, the race is for 1237. If Trump gets there, he wins. If not, all bets are off. It'll be a free-for-all in Cleveland. I'm not talking about a rock concert. I'm talking about the GOP convention. My Two Cents, My Two Minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and capital consultants. Bill McCosh, a lobbyist who worked for Tommy, who gets things done downtown. Talk about this and more on the radio tomorrow at 8 on 92.1 FM, The Mike, The Mitch Hank Show. Talk to you then.